hello friends welcome to stack developer youtube channel and in this video we are going to move web hosting from one company to another so in our case we are going to transfer hosting from godaddy to hostinger okay so we are already having the domain registered at our godaddy server and also hosting is located at the godaddy server i am going to show you that this is the laravel website stackdevelopers.in already registered at godaddy okay you can see my account here this is my account godaddy account godaddy hosting account in which all these domains are currently exist in which stack developers dot in that is going to expire soon so i want to move my hosting from one account from one uh, from one company to another company okay so here i'm going to move from godaddy to hostinger hostinger is also one of the famous web hosting okay so I already having the Dlex Linux hosting account in GoDaddy. Okay, so I want to move its websites. Okay, I want to move the data of the website from one server to another. See, the domains will remain the same. Domains will remain on the GoDaddy server, but the hosting we are going to update to some other account. Okay, so I'm going to register here at Hostinger. This is the Hostinger company okay so i'm going to purchase the hosting here in this hostinger okay i'm going to purchase the hostinger this premium plan i'm going to purchase right now and then i'm going to move the domains i'm going to data move the data from there see dns uh, domain name server will remain at the godaddy server but the website will run at uh, hostinger okay so uh, we are going to follow uh, these steps I'm going to show you see uh, requirements are like uh, you must be having the domain registered at one server or you must be having the hosting registered at one server in our case we are having the uh, domain and hosting registered at the GoDaddy okay and after that we are going to take the complete website backup uh, from our old old hosting account that is the GoDaddy. okay i'm going to take the complete backup of this website uh, database as well as its files i'm going to download it okay uh, from our hosting account and after downloading it uh, i'm going to purchase the new hosting that is the hostinger i'm going to purchase the new hosting at hostinger and after that i'm going to point uh, see domain name from old server to new server and after pointing uh, i'm going to upload the website code uh, at our hostinger okay uh, and after that i'm going to make and import the database of website at new server finally i'm going to make the connection and required uh, other settings i'm going to do at the new server okay so we are going to see these steps now first step i'm going to take right now uh, i'm going to take the backup of complete website at godaddy that i want to move okay so uh, this one stack developers dot in uh, so i'm going uh, inside my c panel and after that i'm going to take the backup of the website both database as well as the files it will not take much time see here i'm going to click on c panel admin i'm going to open here php my admin so i want to export stack developers so this is the database i'm going to export this it will just take few seconds you can see stack developers dot sql exported now i want to export the uh, files as well i am going to open the file manager i'm i will check the website this is our uh, website complete website i'm going to click on select all but will not select the subdomains and other domains and also i'm not going to select the zip files okay so rest i'm going to uh, here compress will give its name like uh, its name is stack developers i'm going to give here stack developers dot zip compress files
it will take few minutes depends upon the see it has been done okay so i will just refresh here reload here and here i am going to download this tag developer protein that is just 74 mb i am going to download from here okay so it again it will take few seconds depends upon the speed of the internet okay it has been done okay so we able to take the backup of the database as well as the website uh, uh, website data website code okay so we have done the first step that is over now okay so uh, fine so the next step is purchase new hosting uh, i'm going to purchase hosting at hostinger see these steps you can take uh, if if you want to host in any other company as well then this step you can take as well okay so i am going to open the hostinger once again so i'm i want to purchase this plan plan but first of all i'm going to register on hostinger so i'm going to uh, choose a not a member yet choose a hosting plan okay so uh, see i need to purchase the hosting first then uh, then only i can make an account in hostinger okay it's fine so i'm going to purchase the premium plan because i have the multiple websites so that's why i'm going to purchase the premium plan premium plan sports uh, you can see 100 websites okay so having 100 gb ssd storage so it seems to be fine so i'm going to add this to our cart so you can see uh, once again it is asking you are almost there complete your order okay so uh, i will first buy for one month i'm thinking to buy for one month but uh, see 12 month package giving us huge discount Uh, so there are some of the plans uh, that we can choose from and I'm going to select this one uh, Okay, this is the 12 month plan uh, Okay, so here is the total in INR Indian currency and there are the payment methods if you are from outside uh, India then you can also select the PayPal or any other payment gateway that uh, you can also select the credit card as well. Okay, so uh there are some of the coupons that i found here like one of the coupon right now the monsoon coupon i'm going to apply this coupon and i will get some discount and you can see the amount is now around 3000 inr 3045 inr okay so now i'm going to select one of the uh, payment method and going to purchase this one and also i'm going to create its account okay okay so now you can see uh, i have been logged in with my google account and see okay so now i can i'm ready to purchase i'm going to select the ptm i'm going to uh, make the payment now see you can see the premium web hosting 12 month plan i'm going to purchase this plan so let's do it submit secure payment So it will take us to the Paytm. So you need to log in with your Paytm account. So I just require to scan this uh, QR code to make the payment. Okay. So I'm going to do this with my uh, Paytm account. Okay. In my mobile, I'm going to scan this code to make the payment and i'm going to do it right now so i'm going to make this payment now i'm going to click on pay okay and and i'm going to make the payment to purchase the hosting so the payment has been done you can see the payment has been done and we able to logged in and now it is uh, asking us to start the 
hosting process so there are some of the steps that we need to take okay so i'm going to click on start now okay i can uh, i can select uh, uh, see the language that we want okay english is fine for us uh, i am creating it for myself who are creating for the website for i'm creating a uh, skip i don't want personalized experience i already have a website okay so uh online store skip i don't want these kind of things okay so i just skipped it uh create on migrate a website so i want to migrate a website though but i can also manually do it uh, if you want to create a new website you can select here okay i want to uh, transfer my old website to this one so i can click here as well okay it's our choice so right now i can click on skip create an empty website we can also do it like this okay so but i'm going to select this one uh, let's see okay upload website transfer website let us migrate your website for you okay i can see what uh, okay uh, use wordpress login use link to backup files so uh, see this one uh, we will not going to select this one this process okay so we will manually transfer by updating the dns uh, so we will skip uh, all these steps okay uh, claim a free domain see they provide us one year free domain okay get a new domain name for your project for free so we can uh, select this one to get the free domain name for one year okay so like uh, we have the website that we want to make it live uh, i have just committed the website in laravel 10 laravel 9 as well as the laravel 10 and that is the multi vendor e-commerce website you can see this is the website that we have completed in laravel 10 okay and this is the multi vendor e-commerce website so we can uh, make it live as well uh, i can choose any name here for this website and extension i can also select any extension i'm going to select the dot in extension okay and i can select any name for it uh, so i am going to use the name as multi vendor dot in multi vendor let's see if it is available click on search uh, no it is not available okay so we can also put like uh, multi vendor e-commerce yes it is available multi vendor e-commerce is av available uh but i think uh some other name uh like laravel e-commerce that is easier to remember laravel e-commerce dot in no this name is not uh available uh, see dot shop dot shop also we can make e-commerce dot shop laravel dot shop our e-commerce dot shop see this domain is also available uh, laravel e-commerce dot shop so i will continue with this domain laravel e-commerce dot shop okay so uh, select prime details india i am going to select the personal i can also select the company oration but i will select the personal here and click on next step enter contact details okay so i'm going to select here uh, my city and state all the information i'm going to select and then we'll click on finish register process okay so it is registering my domain as well as the hosting let's see see it is uh, let's need set up your current location asia india your domain is laravel ecommerce dot shop i will click on finish setup it is doing the final setting you can see easy collaboration with your partners it's 23 percent done
सो वेल डन यू आर रेडी मेक श्योर टू कम्प्लीट द डोमेन परचेज टू कीप योर वेबसाइट ऑनलाइन ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन मरेज साइड आई एम गोइंग टू सी अदर डिटेल्स एंड गोइंग टू होस्ट माई वेबसाइट हियर ओके सो दिस इज द प्रीमियम वेब होस्टिंग एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दी वी कैन रजिस्टर अवर वेबसाइट हेयर ओके आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक हेयर सो आई विल एक्सप्लोर माई कंप्लीट अकाउंट हेयर फाइव मेजर इज हेयर डाटा बेस इज इज हेयर ओके सो वी वॉन्ट टू होस्ट अवर अनदर वेबसाइट फ्रॉम गो डैडी ओके सो फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू चेक द डोमेन्स हेयर पार्क डोमेन्स आई एम गोइंग टू सी दार्क डोमेन्स हेयर ओके आई एम गोइंग टू नाउ यूज दिस डोमेन स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन ओके आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हेयर ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू पार्क हेयर दिस डोमेन ओके आई वॉन्ट टू पार्क हेयर स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट लाइक दिस स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन so i'm going to park this domain here okay so it has been created see right now it it's not pointing to hostinger but uh i am going to make settings in godaddy so that it will point here uh, okay so i just want uh, the dns here domain name server now we can reconnect your domain to hosting its name servers please note that your website may not be visible online until the connection is fully finished it may take up to 24 hours but typically takes up to 2 hours so it will take 2 3 hours okay uh, to set up the hosting account in hosting car i have just purchased it so it will take some time so in the meantime i'm i can explore the other things as well Uh, so i am going to check the domain name server here that which name servers the hosting are use i am going to check here uh, hosting plan details and these are the name servers that the hosting are use so these are the name servers that we need to give at godaddy so that it will point to hosting it. okay so let's do this task here i am going to open my domain here i am going uh, to my products okay so these are the domains uh, i can point to uh, hostinger okay so like uh, this one stack developers dot in i'm going to open this one but before pointing the dns okay before updating the dns make sure that you will take the backup of your complete website not only this one other secondary websites as well okay as well as the databases okay so make sure i am going to do that uh, i i will take the backup of my other websites as well because this one is the primary domain if i will uh, update the dns for this website that all this can read like kc gupta and stack developers dot in uh, dns will also get updated so i am going to take the backup of all other websites as well there are three websites i am going to take the backup of all three websites okay so i am going to open the file manager once again i will uh, here i'm i will go to the file manager and will take the backup here it is i i will take the backup of all other websites as well okay like this one ecommerce.segrebit.in i'm going to uh, compress this one will take the backup compress sub domains as well domains as well see this one also i'm going to extract compress this one also
this one also okay then this one see these are the old websites few of the websites are old that are not running now but i'm going to take the backup of all the websites this one also like this one is the old one that is not running now that we have done in the laravel 5 but at least we must take the backup of all the websites okay i think it is empty one okay yeah so now i'm going to refresh it once and we'll take the backup of all like i'm going to download all the website that we have taken the backup like this one all i'm going to download so i am downloading the multiple files at once you can do one by one as well also i'm going to take the backup of databases as well i need to make sure that i will not lose anything in my old server so one by one i'm going to take the backup of, of all the databases as well Okay, it has been done you can see I am able to take the backup of all the websites all the websites databases okay okay so now uh, we will again check that I think all the backup is taken I'm going to check in the downloads folder once here I think like some of the backups are currently running the rest all are done so it will take just few minutes to complete the backup then we are going to update the dns i am going to check here in downloads only few are running I think almost all are done just one is pending that will take just two three minutes you can check okay now you can see the backup is taken for all the website and the databases as well as the files okay uh, so now we can move further okay so you can see okay so the backup is taken so now we can uh, move and change the dns domain name server okay i'm going to do that and see the dns is here you can see the dns uh, for stack developers dot in So these are the DNS okay so we are going to update the name servers and here you can see we are going to change the name servers for this domain okay I will use my own own name servers and the name servers uh, the hosting that provides us I am going to uh, use these one these name servers here this is the first one 
and this is the second one i'm going to copy this and we'll put in in dns name servers of the website at godaddy i'm going to click on save uh, your attempt to update name server has failed uh, c has invalid tld invalid name server it is uh, i'm going to check the once again there what is the issue exactly Uh, so I have just uh, add the, my issue here like uh, hello I just purchased the premium hosting and I want name servers so that I can point my domains at Godai to hosting her so it uh, suggests me to point to these two uh, like uh, this one ns1 dnsparking.com and ns2 dnsparking.com so I'm going to use these at Godaddy let's see if it will work like this one and the next one is this one okay so i'm going to copy this one and we'll add it and i think this time it works fine uh, by clicking continue you consent to uploading the name servers so the chain name server okay so it's fine i can click on continue so it has been done your request is in progress okay so you can see the name servers i able to add here for hostinger at godaddy server this is the godaddy server and i have added these name servers that the hostinger provides me okay so i think it will take some time and so i can just close it i think uh this has been done other otherwise this is the auto chat otherwise i can chat with the uh, customer care executive as well but i think our uh, see it, it can resolve our issue so i'm going to check the websites once again so this is the uh, website that we have got to be the premium package free website for one year i'm going to upload the website another website another laravel website to here as well okay but right now I want to point my domain so okay so I will go to my hosting once again so I click here domains here then you can see this one we have already registered and this one uh, we have added okay stack developer dot in see you can see here that i think it's maybe start pointing you can see otherwise it is not showing these but now it is showing so we can check once open this one that it is still running or not I'm going to run it in Ignito private window. See right now it is running from GoDaddy because we have not hosted the website so far. So uh, let's uh, do uh, the data. Uh, we are going to add the databases and other things in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to create the databases here. okay so from here i'm going to create the databases okay i'm going to create the database for for our stack developers dot in website first of all stack developers uh stack developer i'm going to make it uh, stack developer okay fine stack developer and password i can select the password whatever i want create so database created successfully and you can see I'm going to enter the PHP my admin so that we can import our database so 
so here I'm going to import our database uh, I think this is our database that we can import I'm going to verify once again yes this is the website that we want to import fine it is okay so it has been done so now uh, we are going to open the file manager uh, so that we can upload the files so you can also save it I'm going to save it as well so this is hosting and uh, I'm going to see files import website okay so I'm going to see that file manager once again access file of this one what is it So this one is the domains uh, Laravel eShop oh, and uh, I think it has not created the add-on domain here I'm going to see how it will create uh, so I think once again I need to go in domains and we'll see my park domains yes is pointing yes it is pointing now okay so uh, now you can see it's pointing but uh, it must be uh, I think we must create here something import website copy website FTP accounts file manager domains only one domain it is showing uh, but it is not showing the other domains I am going to check why it is not showing to add the website here uh, no this one not uh, you can see that I am chatting with the adjective right now okay see uh, I told the executive that uh, hello I want to host my park domain uh, here in hostinger from godaddy I updated the DNS at godaddy okay so the executive is now answering me so let's see so we need to connect with the uh, server support team for these kind of things because you can't do everything of your own okay so let's see that how to how to connect how to add the files here in hostinger so the uh, reply has come i checked the name server is already changed to ours but to start uploading files I have to remove the park domain from Laravel Vision Show first, then you will be able to add the domain and start to upload files. Okay.
I asked the executive to do it because maybe I will create the issue. So take this case a screenshot of this step okay uh, take this screenshot of this step it will help us examination yours for two star body files have to move the palm domain Absolutely, I have removed it. Now you can add the domain and you can start to upload files. To add a domain to your account, go to the website and click on create or migrate a website. Okay. Uh, okay, I am going to do it go to, to right now. see uh, I am going to now uh, I have removed it uh, to add a domain to your account go to website create or migrate uh, to website okay I will go to the website and now create or migrate a website fine uh, and now uh, the website now after that so which website So now I think can I move it or not? I I just want to move this one. No, I can't move it. Okay, migrate my transfer and existing website. Select. Uh, let us migrate your website upload and archive of your website transfer website let us migrate your website uh, i need to select upload website upload and archive of your website let us migrate your website for you uh, transfer website uh, see upload website choose a file Go to upload the file here. Uh, here it is. Uh, my backup. This one. Import. Uh, I am going to ask the customer care as well. Okay. For this point, I am going to ask.
so our step seems to be fine i am uploading the website but it is taking too much time Enter your existing domain here. Okay, stack developers dot in. Continue. Okay, fine. It it already picked this one. Fine. I think it's fine. Continue. And it is just taking some more time let's see customer care is also helping me connect to your domain uh, control panel set name servers to connect site.in uh, I'm going to ask now for this step Okay, so uh, we are very close uh, now and uh, So just the PHP version, I am inquiry uh, from Rafi, okay. So this is the last step.
I am really happy with the host in the service. Okay, so uh, our issue has been almost resolved. Okay, so now we are going to resolve the issue of our website. Okay, that is no, now hosted by uh, the. We are going to open the website now in the private window because uh, otherwise it is keep opening the website from cache. Okay, so I'm going to open the website here. Uh, still, it is opening from the cache. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm required to delete the cookies maybe or I'm going to open in some other uh, like I'm going to open in Safari okay uh, so I'm going to close from here so I am going to open the website here stack developers dot in So I still it is opening here, uh, but I'm going to update the connection though. Okay. Now you can see the website is showing some error stack developers dot in so it means the uh, DNS are, are updated now okay now the this website is opening from the hosting the account from the new hosting from the new server okay so we are going to update its settings so you can see once again in the points uh, that we able to take the complete website backup from old hosting we able to purchase the new hosting we able to point the dns from old server to new server dns means domain name server okay so we are able to upload the website as well okay and we able to upload the database we able to import the database as well okay so last step we are going to take now make connection and other required settings at the new server so our website will run okay so final setting we are going to do now so this is our website I'm going to check it uh, once again that we are at the correct folder. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it once again uh, from uh, our domains. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, going back. Okay, so okay, I'm going to open once again. Going back to the 
main panel okay so i will go to this stack developers dot in uh, to website premium web hosting stack developers dot in once again okay so here file manager so public underscore html so dot env file where it is dot env here it is okay so i'm going to edit this file so here i'm going to give going to update uh, so i'm going to open the database here uh, that we uh, uh, we earlier just up, uh, see will give it we have earlier created this one so i'm going to give this one like this and also going to modify its password so that it will run correctly okay so i'm going to run this the uh, going to enter the password as well for the security reason i'm not going to show i'm i'm just going to update the password and will click on save here at the button at the top so my file has been saved now so now i'm going to run once again i will do uh, go to the safari now we'll check uh, that if i able to run I'm going to refresh it and we'll see that if my website is now running or not. Nothing is happening here. I'm going to see why. So finally the website is opening now okay you can see this tag developers dot in is finally opening and our website is now running in hosting account okay instead of godaddy our website is now hosted under hosting okay so we have transferred the domain uh, from the godaddy to the hosting we have not actually transferred we have just updated the dns but we have transfer the hosting from godaddy to hostinger okay we have to able to transfer the hosting from one account to another uh, from one company to another okay so like this we can able to uh, host uh, all other domains as well one by one and we can run uh, here in uh, the hostinger okay so if you want to uh, update your hosting account if you want to move from one hosting to another you can follow these steps okay maybe you you are required to uh, ta talk or chat with the customer care executive okay so don't hesitate to do that okay uh, so you can easily uh, update your website like this okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye and once again i want to uh, uh, show you these steps okay so these are the six steps that we have taken see all these six steps this is the six step that we have just updated the database collection in the new server to run the website okay so uh, oh, you are required to follow these six, six steps uh, to move your web hosting from one company to another so uh, please continue uh, uh, please subscribe my channel youtube.com stack developers uh, if you have not subscribed yet then please uh, subscribe my channel youtube.com stack developers if you want to learn laravel from scratch then this channel is really helpful for you and you can always join the channel to get the complete source code of the laravel website laravel e-commerce website latest laravel laravel 9 as well as the laravel 10 and all the latest like laravel 11 okay so we are the first uh, who uh, adds the laravel uh, laravel tutorial for the users so please subscribe as well as the join our channel okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye